Hi, I'm Laird Hamilton, and you're watching The Surf Channel. Enjoy the ride. Welcome back to The Surf Report, presented by The Surf Channel. We're out here at the YouTube space for episode two, and we're going for it. So let's charge into our first wave on the lineup. Developers at the Kelly Slater Wave Company have submitted a proposal to build two more wave pools in the city of Lemoore, a town far, far away. His empire will take a few years to become fully operational, but if approved, their expansion plan will include an operations building, a training center, a support facility, a star destroyer, a TIE fighter fleet, fully functional Death Star, and the list goes on. His empire seeks total World Surf League domination. The Founders' Cup begins this weekend, May 5th and 6th. Supreme Leader Slater is captain of the Team USA, which includes John John Florence, Chloe Andino, Carissa Moore, and Courtney Conlogue. Captain Stephanie Gilmore is leading the Australian team, Gabriel Medina representing Brazil, Johan DeFay leading you for the Europeans, and Jordy Smith for Team World. Continuing with the Star Wars puns, you better jump into hyperspace because these tickets are almost sold out. Hey, you dudes, we have a ticket giveaway. An evening with Mick Fanning presented by Major Events and hosted by Joey Johns will take place May 19th at the Star Gold Coast Theater in Queensland, Australia. If you'll be in Queensland, stay till the end of the episode to participate in our ticket giveaway. If you're not into the theater, then we have a movie suggestion for you. The Andy Irons documentary, Kiss by God, premiered on May 2nd in Los Angeles and is playing in New York and Hawaii this coming week. The untold story of Andy Irons takes us into the dark truth of opioids and his internal battle with addiction. The story of Andy's death is still prominent today as we have lost yet another surfer to opioid addiction. Chas Chittister, a North Shore hopeful, died of a drug-related incident on April 12th. Although he was a known opioid user, his death surprised many of his friends and family. Chas had a competitive reputation when he first moved to Oahu and found many friendships in the North Shore. He was only 28 years old when he died. The Surf Channel would like to dedicate this episode to raising awareness for drug and alcohol addiction. With that in mind, we invited a very important guest, you know him, and he's a longtime friend of the Surf Channel. He's known as a novelty surfer, but he's also a champion for addiction recovery. Please welcome the YouTube sensation, Ben Gravy. Yee! What's up, Spadone? All right, so Ben, I know you're not really familiar with the format of this new show. We like to highlight people who have done remarkable things inside and outside the water. So we're gonna give you the Sender Special Award for the month of April. You've had a lot of waves this month, but one definitely stood out to us. Can you take the time and break down the session leading up to this wave and where were you? How fast were you going? So yeah, pretty much it was that morning we woke up. It was, we expected there to be waves. It was a classic day in New Jersey. The water was still brown, like dense brown. And a uh, couple sets a little overhead, but absolutely perfect about four to five foot absolutely perfect chank little got the drone up in the air and the whole deal uh pretty much miniature jersey perfection dropped in got like the perfect little barrel section covered me up just deep enough to ride through it came out tons of speed i bottom turned up and i hopped on top of the wave and ended up like floating it super long yeah. <laughs> didn't even expect that to happen and then just popped off at the end and Mother Nature just blessed me with that one. Yeah, so, movie magic. Pretty epic morning for New Jersey. There was a video you released called Why I Became Sober, and that was almost a year ago. What, what's something that you could tell our followers and your followers, uh, some advice about uh, addiction recovery? I mean, as far as addiction, you know, it doesn't discriminate. Anybody can, can become an addict, and I think it comes down to your ability to see value within yourself when I used to heavily binge drink. I was in that place where I felt like I wasn't of value to anyone. The things that I started seeing in my life um, was the fact that I am, you know, I am worthy of being happy. And I think that's something that a lot of addicts struggle with. I see a lot of people that come out of that world and if they go into sobriety and start seeking out and finding things that they love and things that they're passionate about, it seems like they have an easier time moving forward and staying sober. I'm not someone who preaches um, about this kind of stuff, but I've been sober myself for two years, and I can just say that it's changed my life for the better. I, I would be nothing without my sobriety. If you are in that situation, just know that it can get better. 
So guys, if you want to follow along the journey, you can follow my daily vlog at youtube.com slash Ben Gravy with two Y's. And uh, my Instagram, it's at Ben Gravy, also with two Y's. And I post every day, so there's yeah, definitely do. a lot of viewing pleasure there. <laughs> sure. All right, Spadoon, everybody at the Surf Channel, thanks a lot, guys, for having me on. Well, as always, it was the dream to be featured, so... <laughs> And we'll see you next time because Jersey's been pumping. Whoa. But I'm driving the van out, so I'll see you guys soon. All right, man. The dream. Can't wait for it. Let's look at what happened to the championship tour in the land of Oz. The Drug Aware Margaret River Pro found its way into the history books. This year, the event took place at North Point for both men and women. A first time for the women's championship tour. North Point can be the heaviest wave in West Oz. So big ups for all the female chargers out there. The contest normally takes place at main break or the box, which can also pack a punch. But mother nature landed the finishing blow here at the Margaret River Pro, leading to the early end of the contest. Wait, I'm being told we have footage from the Margaret River Pro. Ooh, wow, what a completely normal day for Australia. With two nearby shark attacks and whale blubber drifting closer, Unsafe feelings swept over the competitors, forcing the WSL to close the event. A WSL statement read, We are committed to being as prepared as possible for what nature throws at us. <laughs> Although we are sometimes afraid of sharks, we have to remember that they're gentle creatures and embrace them. That's why this cancellation puts the real winner of the Drug Aware Margaret River Pro, Reggae Shark. Reggae Shark, you don't want to arm ya. Reggae Shark, you just want your gun ya. Reggae, shark. Reggae sharks can smell bud in the water up to a mile away. He's very drug aware. <laughs> On April 30th, the WSL announced the Big Wave Award winners. The WSL announced at the Big Wave Awards here in Santa Monica that Rodrigo Coja broke the world record for the largest wave ever surfed. An 80-foot monster out of Nazaire, Portugal. Now our top story from Shredline News. Welcome to Shredline News. A slow-moving tropical storm brought intense rainfall to the north coast of Kauai over the weekend of April 14th and 15th. Flash flooding in the small town of Wainiha and Hanale destroyed homes, damaged the town's bridge, and knocked out the pier. In total, 465 people were rescued, but the legendary waterman Laird Hamilton is credited for saving at least 15 kids from a nearby sleepaway camp. Laird captained his small vessel over flood water to reach the stranded girls. His heroic efforts were documented and thanked by professional surfer Layla Hurst, who was hosting the sleepaway camp. Residents and scientists alike say that this storm was unprecedented. According to NASA Weather Service, the 30 inches of rain within a 24-hour period was close to a record for the small town on Kauai's northern coast. The town will never forget an event such as this, but efforts to aid and rebuild have largely been successful. Let's take a look at the forecast for the month of May. This weekend, the WSL will be hosting the Founders Cup in Lemoore, California, May 5th and 6th. We'll be there. So stay connected with the Surf Channel team on Instagram and Twitter to follow our coverage. The Surf Channel is also looking forward to CT event number four, the Oi Rio Pro in Rio de Janeiro, where both men and women will be competing. Thank you very much for watching the second episode of the Surf Report. And be sure to like, comment, subscribe before your next paddle out or else this could happen. <gasps>